Okay, so we have a question here from our membership. Uh, this is actually from our support group. So if you're interested in joining our free support group for Google Workspace, just jump onto any of the links on our channel and you can join our Workspace group, free group where our community help each other out answering questions. I obviously can't answer every single one of the questions and the comments, as, although I would love to as much as possible, but this is one from the group. So Antoine, thank you for uh, Antoine, thank you for asking. So there is a licensed user currently set up in uh, their account and they wanna move that to a collaborative group email. Now I've covered uh, group emails before. I did a recent video that went up on the channel on managing shared mailboxes and uh, you know different options for using a collaborative mailbox versus a distribution group versus a shared mailbox. Now this person wants to move a license or an email address probably between those. Now, there's no magic button that you can press that turns a user into a distribution group uh, or turns a distribution group back into a user. So you need to actually do this manually. Now, pretty simple process. You just need to ma make sure you do it quickly because when you do this, you don't want to lose any email. So what you're gonna do is you're going to take the, uh, the first user, so the, the licensed user account, and you're going to rename them. So if their name is Peter, I would probably rename them to something like peter-old at ourcompany.com. Now, when you rename that user, uh, what it's gonna do is it's actually gonna create an alias under that user as well. Uh, and it probably makes sense that I show you exactly what this looks like so, uh, so we can do it properly, okay? So let's open up my Google admin here. I'm gonna create a test. I'm gonna create a test user uh, and we'll use the test user here. Cool, great, so we'll set up tester. And this is gonna be the person that we, uh, this is gonna be the person that we move from a licensed user over to a distribution group. So where's my, where's my test user? Ah, there's multiple pages. Okay, we have more than 50 accounts I learned today. <laughs> okay, here they are. All right, so uh, we've got tester at itgenius.com uh, and this, if we imagine, is the licensed user uh, we're going to update the user and I'm going to call them tester-alt. That's the first step. Now, it says here uh, you can still use tester at IT Genius. That's actually still going to work, which is, uh, that's, part of the, uh, that's part of the challenge here. Um, because what we actually now need to do is we need to clear out that alias because we need to free up the email address. So we're going to click on to user information. And then we're going to go to alternative email addresses and we're going to delete tester, which was the original one. They're going to still have tester-alt, which is the one we renamed them to, but they're no longer going to have tester. And then when we go to our groups and we go and create a group, we can use their email address. Um, and we can then therefore set up our distribution group. So there you go. That is the methodology that you need to create or switch a user into a distribution group. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this content. And if you need more help with your Google Workspace account, there's four ways that we can help. Number one, join our free community group where others in the community help support each other with the Google Workspace accounts. And I'm in there from time to time answering questions as well. Number two, take advantage of our free transfer in offer to get a bunch of additional value for your Workspace account just for transferring your billing over to IT Genius. Number three, you can take advantage of a free consultation if you qualify or an IT systems check and audit for everything technology in your business. Number four, if you need help right now, you can either join our concierge program or book a one-time fix-it service to get support from our professional support team for everything Workspace and the Google ecosystem. See you in the next one.